y'all doing today? I'm in Kentucky on one of these state highways. Uh, 127 Bypass Road is what it's called, State Highway 127. I got about an hour and a half till I get to my destination. But um, as I was coming down 65 uh, before I exited here, I uh, passed a uh, truck on the side of the road uh, on the oncoming lane, the northbound lane, burned to the ground. You know, the whole truck, trailer, everything gone. It was on the shoulder of the road, so I'm going to assume that the driver was able to get out. Uh, and they had a crew out there cleaning it up. The road was backed up for about four miles. And then uh, I stopped at that Loves there at the uh, 45, I think it is. Anyway, I stopped at that Loves there. Filled up and then used my points to buy this this uh, cooler here. I got sitting here. I haven't taken it out of the box yet, but I'll show it to you later once I get it all set up and get it full. But um, when I came out, the traffic was backed up by seven miles, and uh, they were still cleaning up the mess. And I got to wondering about it. You know, and I don't have a clue what caused the fire. I wasn't there, I didn't see it. The fire was out by the time I passed it. You know, the entire thing was gone. Cab, trailer, everything. Couldn't even tell what color it used to be. It was just nothing but charcoal, you know. The whole, lost the whole, the whole load, everything. And uh, like I said, I don't have a clue what it was that, that caused it to burn to the ground. But I do know that one of the things that can cause that to occur is your tires. So there's there's two things to me that are important uh, that I want to pass on to you. Well, first is is to check your tires regularly um, and, and you know watch them out your mirrors. You can see out your mirrors when they start smoking. You can see that smoke. Um, but second is is to get a CB and, and turn it on, and keep it on all the time while you're driving. Uh, you know, you can get a cheap CB. Uh, you don't have to be like me. You know, I, mean, I always want the best and, and you know and all that. But you can get a cheap CB, thirty bucks. You know, it's not like it's going to break the bank. The company supplies the antennas. The antennas are, are part of the truck, you know, and you can change those out too if you want. But there's not really any any excuse not to have a CB. You, know, you should have one in here. They should be on because uh, you know there's been a couple times, and I've told you before in some of my other videos, where I've driven down the road, you know, and I've seen something wrong with the vehicle in front of me. I mean, I've been on video when I've done it, you know. And, and I'd contact the driver, you know, through the CB and, uh, and let him know that something's wrong, you know, with his vehicle. Uh, one time was a tanker, you know, and, and uh, he, he was on fire underneath. Uh, those wheels catch fire. They can catch the trailer on fire. They catch the trailer on fire, you can lose everything. You can have everything, all right? If it's the uh, tractor tires that catch on fire, you know, then uh, again, you can lose the, the tractor, you can lose everything. So, uh, this driver got his stuff off to the side of the road, but the tractor and trailer were both destroyed. You know, and, you know, it looked like the destruction towards the end of the trailer was worse than the destruction towards the cab. Everything was gone. But, you know, it's like there was nothing left on the back of the trailer except the steel frame, the, the aluminum frame that goes around. That's all that was left there. I mean, the entire back of the trailer was going towards the front of the trailer. You still had panels. You still had panels on the trailer. So, you know, the whole back of the trailer is completely gone. The 
panels in the front of the trailer are still there, but you know they're sagging inwards, you know, because they've been they've been melted, and then the whole tractor was lost. So I'm gonna, based on what I saw, I'm gonna say the fire started at the rear tandems on the trailer. Right? So if that's the case, then then again, and if this ever happens to you on the road. Do like that driver did, get that trailer off the road, get it, get it um, onto the shoulder of the road, okay? Um, and there you have to make a judgment call, and you have to act fast, okay? You have to make a judgment call. If the, play, if the fire yeah, one mile, can be contained, turn left you have a fire on 127 you bypass road. Contain the fire, put it out. If the fire can't be contained, if it's already if it's already too big, get that tractor disconnected from the trailer as fast as you can get the tractor disconnected. I, if, you know, if you're going to lose that trailer and you're going to lose that cargo, you know that's one thing. You know, you lose the trailer and you lose the cargo. If you have to, don't even worry about dropping the landing gears. You know, if it's already a gone deal and you and you can't save it, then don't worry about even dropping the landing gears. Get the airlines disconnected, disconnect your fifth wheel, and get out from underneath of it, because this tractor is, is worth a lot of money, you know, a lot of money. And again, if you can't save the, the, the load, you can't save the trailer, you can still save the tractor. You can still save this. So, uh, I was sitting there and I was thinking, you know, why is it that the tractor and the trailer both burn? Turn left you know, on 127 that, Bypass Road. Why is it that, you know, he lost everything, you know, tractor and trailer? You know, did he panic? You know, was he was he trying to put a fire out that couldn't be put out? You know, uh, you know why, why, why did he leave the tractor connected? I, I don't know the answer to those questions because I'm not there. I wasn't there when it started. You know, I don't know what happened, but I know that that he didn't have to lose both of them. You know, he didn't have to. Um, he didn't have to lose the load. He didn't have. If, if the tractor was on fire, you know, you still got enough time before you lose everything. Well, you know, if you're if you're you know as dumb as I am. And uh, you'll try to get that tractor disconnected to save the boat, you know. And and I'll pull, you know, if the tractor's on fire. Uh, you know, if you're smart, then you'll get away from the whole thing and let everything burn, which is, you know, could have been what what he did. Uh, you know, that's possible. But with the worst destruction being towards the end of the trailer, you know, I'm going to assume that the trailer caught on fire. You know, and again, I'm making an assumption. Turn left on Dangle Road. I'm making an assumption just based on what I saw. But, you know, if, um, if your trailer is on fire, you can get that tractor out from underneath of it before you lose it all. You know, you might even be able to drop the landing. You might even have time to drop the landing gears and still disconnect the tractor. But you've got to get that tractor out from underneath that trailer if the trailer catches on fire. you got to do it. you got to get it out. I mean, that's an enormous amount of money that the company's going to lose already just by excuse me just by losing the load they're going to lose a lot of money but they're going to lose you know even more by losing the tracker you know so you know I, I just wanted to kind of you know talk about that for a minute you know it's one of the things that you know unfortunately nobody's ever really covered you know in my experience with me you know, it's just something that, to me, is common sense. And, and, you know, I understand, you know, you've never been in that situation before, you know, and you don't, you don't know what, uh, what to do, you panic, you know, that you can't afford to panic out here in any situation. You cannot afford to panic. You know, you get, you get turned down the wrong road, you can't afford to panic, you know. Uh, I mean, you've seen it, I'm sure you've seen it countless times. There's, there's uh, videos and pictures out there of, of drivers who have uh, gotten in a situation, you know, that they shouldn't have been in, you know, and they panicked. Uh, they panicked and they had, because they panicked, you know, they were not able to get out of that situation and they made themselves look, you know, look like asses. So, uh, you know, don't panic. 
know, if you get onto a road that you're not supposed to be on, then you need to think it through. You need to think it through. You need to try to figure out how you can fix the situation before you try to, you know, before you make the situation worse. You know, this tractor is 75 foot long with a trailer on it. You're not just going to turn that thing around in the middle of the street. You know, uh, you know, you're better off. You're better off trying to back it up and get some place where you can where you can maneuver than you are, you know, to try to turn it around. So, but people panic. You know, they get in that situation. They're like, oh man, I got 13 foot six inch trailer. That's a 12 foot bridge. I can't get underneath of it. You know, what do I do? I'm going to try to turn around right here in the middle of traffic. That shit ain't going to work. You know, you've got a 75 foot long tractor. That shit ain't going to work. You know, you're gonna, now you're going to block four lanes of traffic you know, or three lanes of traffic. And, and uh, you know, and, and then you probably destroy your tractor in the process. You know, and, and, uh, you know, and then make yourself look stupid and get a ticket you know, and all kinds of other things. When, you know, the best bet would be even though it's it's definitely not a good you're not you have don't have any good choices in a situation like that. But your best bet is to just very, very, very slowly start backing up. You know. Um, put your hazards on, let people know that you know you're in a the situation, if there's a shoulder, get on the shoulder, you know, and then very slowly take your time back it up until you can get turned around or get to another road that you can turn down, you know, to correct your error. Um, if, if something like that happens and, uh, and you find yourself in a, uh, in a uh, bad situation, you know, where, uh, where you, you, the only way to get turned around is to go down these narrow tight area with narrow tight streets then take your time to get out and slide your tandems all the way to the floor you know you know you might get a ticket you know for being on a road you're not supposed to be on you know and, and that's just something you'll have to learn from experience you know but at least you won't tear the tractor up getting it out Slide your tandems all the way forward. In one mile, that'll allow you turn to make time to turn on you know, Road. So if you if you get into you know a situation that's difficult to get out of, back up until you can get turned down to the street. You know, slide your tandems all the way forward so that you can make tight turns, and then you know maneuver yourself back where you started from. If you get a ticket for being on a road that you weren't supposed to be on, pay the ticket because you weren't supposed to be there. You know, learn learn your lesson from it, but don't tear the tractor up in the process. You know, uh, the company the company uh, trusts you. The company trusts you with with that uh, with that tractor. All right, and uh, I had to swerve around the construction of the road. I didn't didn't see it until the police officer pulled over in front of me and put his lights on. And I was like, why is this cop pulling over and this box blue blows over in the middle of the road? So I had to swerve around and turn left out. on Dango Road. You, know, you don't know what's in what's in a that's another hazard. You don't know what's in the box. So because you don't know what's in the box, you don't want to turn. Um, you don't want to run over it. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. So. Anyway, the tractor, you know, like I was saying, the company trusts you with this tractor, you know, and that tractor is your responsibility. It's your responsibility not just to keep maintenance up on it, but to ensure that it doesn't get damaged. So if you get yourself into a situation, you know, that's, that's um, on a road where you're not supposed to be at, and I've been there, you know, I've been in that situation. And, you know, if you get yourself in that situation, don't panic. You know, start thinking. That's one of the ways that a GPS is really, really helpful. All right? Uh, and, it, and it can save you a lot of heartache. And a Continue lot, on Danville Road. You know, the, the Rand McNally Atlas typically does not show you cities. It doesn't show you the, the, the streets inside of the city. It's good for getting from city to city. It's not so good for navigating in a city. Right, so, you know, uh, the, the best thing for you to have in that situation is a GPS, you know, and preferably a trucker GPS, because the trucker GPS is programmed to tell you when a road is not, um, you know, when a road is not good for um, a 
truck to be on. And, uh, and so, uh, it's not, it's not, I'm not even saying that you need it, uh, you know, to, uh, to, uh, for it to navigate you. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, no, I'm not even suggesting that you trust the GPS to navigate you through a situation like that. But what you can do with the GPS is you can you can scroll through the map to see what roads go where. So you can see in advance before you turn down the road whether it goes to a connecting road that you can you can get turned around on. You know, you can look at the map and, and by looking at the map you can tell uh, where it is that you know, where it is that you need to be, right? Um, and, uh, you know, so you need a GPS. You know, GPS is a good thing to have with you. It's a good tool. Uh, in a situation where you get yourself on the road that, um, you know, that, that you're not supposed to be on, and it, and it will happen uh, somewhere down the line, then having the GPS available will allow you to scroll around the map or shrink the map down so you can get a better overview of the area that you're driving through and you can see where there's a road that cuts through where you need to be so that you can correct uh, you can correct your uh, your uh, what am I trying to say you can correct your positioning and get back onto an area where you need to where you're supposed to be and it may be you know, it's happened to many, many drivers. It may be that you end up in a residential neighborhood, you know, where no trucks are allowed, right? And, um, and typically those neighborhoods don't allow trucks because the streets are too narrow and the turns are too sharp for a truck to be able to make the turn safely, right? And so uh, if you end up on a road like that, stop, slide your cameras all the way forward, so that you have the tightest turn radius possible and just be very careful. If you get a ticket and it's possible you might, if you get a ticket then pay the ticket, you know, and, and deal with it. And that's, you have no other choice. But, you know, no matter what, don't panic. Don't panic is the key, you know. Um, what I've seen guys do is they'll get turned around and they'll get somewhere where they're not supposed to be and immediately they try to correct it by doing what? Well, you turn around, right? And that's the absolute worst move to make because most times you cannot get turned around, right? Um, you know, in, the, in the case of, of uh, low clearance, your only option is to back up, right? In the case of being the, in the in case of being on a street you're not supposed to be on, the only option is to get turned around as fast as possible by using other streets. But you can get yourself in a situation where you end up in a dead end street or a street that has no uh, that has no exit, you know, or, or no uh, no exit that you can take. So you know, be careful. You know, use your map, look around you, you know, and. Uh, if you get turned around or if you get some place where you're not supposed to be, don't panic. Most important thing in all of all, don't panic. You might get a ticket, you might get in trouble, you know, you might get yelled at, you might get people in the neighborhood to call and you know tell the police that there's a truck driving on their street, you know. But you know, don't damage the tractor, the trailer, or the, the property in it. If something happens and you do catch on fire. You know, pull the tractor over, pull it over, get it off the road. If it's the trailer that's on fire, get that tractor disconnected from the trailer and get it a safe distance away. If you can put the fire out, then by all means put the fire out. Right? You know, without a doubt, because if you can save the load, save the load. But if, if you can't, if it's already you know engulfing the trailer and you can't get it out, then get the trailer disconnected. You need to get the trailer disconnected. Get it, get it away from that, uh, from that tractor. You know, get the tractor 30, 40 feet away so that uh, you don't lose the tractor too. You know, I mean, these things cost the company. You know, it's brand new. They they run 130, 140 thousand dollars. You know, um, so yeah, they're insured. And, you know, the company's going to get some of their money back on it, but. You know, why, why do that to them? Why, when you have the ability to disconnect it, you have the ability to save
save that loss. You know, and not even in, we're not even talking about all your personal belongings. Then you're going to lose all that too, and that's not true. You know, so you know why why go through that when you it doesn't take them a second. You know, if the trailer's engulfed and you can't save it, you know, don't worry about the damaging the landing gears or damaging the, the, the stuff inside of it. Get the tractor disconnected. Don't worry about the landing gears. If you think you can get the landing gears down fast enough and safe enough, then get them down and get it disconnected. You know, but if if, if it's you know if that thing's burning too fast, disconnect the air lines, disconnect that electrical line. You know, pull that pin, get that fifth wheel disconnected, get out from underneath of it. You know, get out from underneath of it and pull it away. You know, I mean, you, that's your responsibility as a driver. Save all of it. Save everything you can save. If you can save the trailer and load, save the trailer and load. If you can't save the trailer and load, save the tractor. But don't panic. Right. And, you know, that, that hit me because, uh, you know, because I was uh, I was traveling, you know, and uh, and I saw it on the side of the road. You know, and, and it just got me to thinking: Why is the tractor and trailer still connected? Why were they still connected together? I don't know. Maybe he was an owner-operator. You know, if he was an owner-operator, he lost everything. Well, maybe he was insured enough that losing everything may have been the best move. You know, I don't know. Uh, maybe he'll get a brand new tractor out of it. You know, and, and he'll be in a better spot than he was. I don't know. I'm just guessing there. You know, just kind of throwing the things out there. But, you know, save your tractor. You know, save the tractor if you can save it. Save the load if you can save that. But, you know, you can't save the load, save the truck. That's pretty much my message for today. Um, I set off a critical event on my camera when I swerved around that box. And, um, I was talking to y'all when I did it, so um, safety may say something about it. The box, you know, I just didn't see it until the cop pulled over it. He pulled over and I saw the box and I was like, yep, I got to get around that. It wasn't nothing but an empty box, you know, but you never know. So you all take care. We'll catch you on the flip side. Uh, maybe I'll make another video today. I got a week to be home and then I'll start unloading all this stuff. Get it all up on YouTube and, um, and hope to get a bunch of views on it. So y'all take care. We'll catch you later. Peace out.